Hi guys, I'm coming to you today with a video to show you a bit of an update to the Cricut Design Space Print Then Cut features. I am going to include a link to my original video that is the step-by-step -step print then cut. And that's a really important video because it gives you a lot of uh, general how-tos on how to do the uh, print then cut. This is more of just an update to some of the visual features and a couple of additional uh, um, steps that they've changed now that Cricut Design Space has been updated to Design Space 3 several months ago. So I, want, I, I think it's important if you're wanting to know how to do print and cut in general to watch that first video and then come back to this one to just see some of the changes visually to what um, is different between Design Space 2 and Design Space 3. So to start off with, uh, one of the biggest changes is that now the size, the size of your image that you're able to print has increased to 9.25 by 6.75 in all browsers. It previously was around 8 by 6 inches, so you, you do have a lot more space that you're able to print and cut in, which is pretty cool. So that's one major change. Another thing that's a little bit different Anytime, th this right here, I just pulled up from Design Space, uh, act like a, it's just a free image that was found under the images, and it's a printable. One thing that's a little bit different, some people see, uh, anytime you have a print, a printable, or if you've changed something to a print, then cut, you're going to see this little uh, red hash mark next to the printer and some people don't know what that means and that kind of, I guess, freaks them out a little bit because it looks like it's a bad symbol, like something's wrong. All that means is that there is no color uh, designated to this design that you can change. You can't change any colors. So if this were to be a like I'll change it here from print to cut. It's just going to turn black or I guess yellow. Um, if if you had it set to cut, now you'll see that that circle has changed to what color you have it. But if it's a print image, let me undo to get the design back. Um, if it's a print, then it's going to have just this red hash, which means you don't have any color changing options available. So let's go ahead and pretend like we're going to send this to the printer. So I'm going to go ahead and just click make it. From this screen, you will notice that the registration marks have changed quite a bit. It used to just have these little corners in the upper and lower left corners. There were just little kind of L shaped, but now it's this uh, entire rectangle. And uh, the size of the paper is still the same, but the uh, registration marks are now just an entire rectangle. Another thing that's different is the bleed off and on option used to be here on this map preview screen, but now it's under the print dialog screen. So if you aren't seeing it, you were used to seeing it here, um, you actually just wanna keep going to the continue screen to go to this send to printer to f get your printer dialog and now this is where the bleed option is but if you watch my other video you will know that I recommend that you keep this on at all times just because it makes your image look a lot prettier so if you need to change anything in your printer you'll have this advanced options if you need to change the uh, quality that type of thing one thing you do want to continue to make sure of is that you don't have any kind of um, scale options selected. You don't want it to fit to page or stretch to page or anything like that. You want to keep it at 100% scale still. If this is a Mac, uh, the way I can verify that is um, under this drop down under paper handling. I'm going to verify that this scale to fit paper size is not checked. 
I want to keep it at 100%. I'm not sure where that option is under a PC, but that's what it looks like for me. So then once you had, you made sure your um, settings were on, you know, best or however you want it to look. Then you would just hit print and it would come off your printer at home. You would put it on your mat and continue on through the steps to print it from, uh, to cut it with your Cricut. So those are some of the visual main changes. One thing that I did forget to mention in my previous video that some people get errors or that they don't get the flatten option in their design. And um, so I'm going to pull up an image to show you why that may happen. Let me just clear off the printables. I saw a card earlier that I wanted to pull up because it had a few of the presets that might give you some troubles. Here we go. It's just this smile card. Let's go ahead and insert that. So say if you were making a card or some kind of invite and you put your design here and maybe you put a score line down the middle if you're going to fold this in half to make it into a card. And as you'll see, this kind of grouped attached image, I don't have the flatten option. And as you, uh, if you watched that previous video, I told you that whenever you want to do a print then cut, the only option you need to choose is flatten. You don't need to weld or attach or group. You just need to flatten. Well, this doesn't give me that option. And the reason why is there are a couple of layers that are set to write. Uh, it's set to draw these little squiggle designs. Um, and I think write this outline of the kite. So I would need to change this from right to cut in order to get the flatten option to be available. So now if I were to select everything, now the flatten option is available for me. So I can do that and this design is a little bit wonky because it's not really quite right, but you get the idea. So if you have a design that you were wanting to write with a pen, or if you had a score line down the middle, if you were creating a card, the reason why you don't have the flatten option is because you can't do all of those features in the same session. So those, that was something I forgot to mention in the previous video. One thing I do also want to mention that Cricut will recommend under the, if you go to their help section on their website, it's just help.cricut.com. You can find out a lot of information about the print and cut if you're having troubleshooting issues. But one thing they will recommend is that you uh, do your print and cut design and print and cut all in one session and keep it all in the same browser. Like some people may design their print and cut maybe on their work computer or something. Or maybe if you have a laptop and a desktop, you may design it on one and then um, maybe try to save a PDF, print it out, and then cut it with a different browser. And, and different browsers have different settings. So if you print it with under like Chrome and then at work and then you come home and you try to cut it out with Firefox, some of the settings may be wrong and you're your registration marks won't quite match up correctly. So they recommend that you do everything on the same browser under the same session just to avoid errors and things like that. So I think that's all I have to update uh, on the print and cut from design, what's changed from Design Space 2 to Design Space 3. So if you have any other issues that you've come across, uh, just put it in the comments below and I'll see if I can help you out with that. So hopefully this little addition has helped and have a good day.